Welcome to Frico Blazing God Mode, the Purple Power of Macedon. This is Season 1, The Greek Empire. Episode 1, The First Taste of Blood. And this is our first campaign in Northern Kingdom Expansion, Part 1. In an undisclosed time and place, not unlike the time we're in right now, Frito Ferozian found himself sucked in a time worm that transferred his mind, body, and soul into one Antigones II, the king of Macedon, in the year 199 BCE. He was tasked with one mission to unite two heroes. He has, at his advantage, God mode powers he will use only for good to unite the world once and for all under the benevolent purple power of Macedon. This is his tale. Rico's Log, 199 BCE, First Quarter. Today is the day that I prepare the armies for their first test in battle as we finally deal with northern aggressors from Illyria to Pannonia. And we will not allow these constant harassers of our trade caravan to be so bold as to imagine they will not suffer the consequences of their actions. Their impudence shall not the more be countenanced. We mean to bring broken bones and flames to their very homes as we subvert these violent savages and preserve our great peoples. Illyria will be the first to taste the fires of our crafted hell. And the first of that will be the Jew, Navisos herself. Welcome to Frico Plays in God Mode, and prepare yourself for the Battle of Novisos. And uh, we'll we'll set it up here for you here as we zero in, and we get a we get a load of uh, of who the man in power is, and that is Antigonus the Second. You see this gentleman right here. Let's see if we can get a little closer here. There we go. You see this gentleman right there? This is a standard bearer. This is Antigonus. General nearby. He is the general. There's the general. There's the standard bearer. Antigonus, with well, the standard bearer, is me. This is where I find myself, folks. This is where we all find ourselves. And this is our first impediment. It is the peoples of Nevesos. Thracians. Low, low born Thracians. This is there. Let's take a gander at his, his great leader. Which one of you are him? Which one of you? I don't know. I don't know which one of you specifically, but one of you is the general that we face. And you can see they're spread out here across the hill, and we intend on doing basically the meat grinder, baby. The meat grinder. Now, if you're new to the channel, then you don't know what the meat grinder is. The meat grinder is basically we set up the artilleries, and we got these guys in the front right here, and these little buddy boys, and Mr. Gregory and Axman. Pretty, pretty hardcore dudes. This is basically our main mode of defense for these guys. And then we got these guys up here, which are going to, they are going to kind of go up and, well, that's me. I'm going to make a rush towards it, but, and then we got the, the cavalry road over here and they're going to be selectively <coughs> grinding the people as they come closer and closer to a prize that they can never achieve, which is to take down this artillery and this artillery has got fire and we've got fire. So let's get this baby going. We're diving in. Worshipping their sacred pig, or whatever foulness the animal endures in their hands, we shall have a battle. Yes, the, comes, the lips don't move because I speak psychopathically. Yes, psychopathically, which is better than psychotically. I think. Not sure. I'll look that up after the battle. And as you can see, we're rushing in. And we've got the artillery. The artillery going here. And you just check that out. This is the artillery brush. Look at that power. More power. Shh. 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, we're just coming up a little. Oh, just come a little closer. Come a little closer, guys. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The death. The, the earned death. Oh, yeah. Just raking across. Just good job, guys. Good job, guys. Way to stick it to the team that is opposing us. Look at this. Look at this. Just. Yeah. Will they make it? Will they make it? They're already weakening. Some of these guys are like, yo, I don't know. They're going to try to outflank us, I think, over here. Some of these guys are already breaking. Some of these guys are like, you yeah, know, I don't know. And now they're and now they're rushing in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Now we've got these guys. Oh, and we've got me over here. I have dove into it. And so what we're doing now, it looks like, is we are trying to kit them off to keep them separate. Well, I thought so. That would be a smart move. But no, okay, we're, we're separating. We're separating. One thing we have learned to do is separate our troops. And, and, and they, look at this. Just getting, just getting hammer schnackles. Will they? Oh, they, these guys. Look, these guys are making a dad bash for it. Will they make it? They're over here. Will these guys make it? They're coming in. And here comes here comes the pain. Let's see if they make it in. Okay, that's it for them. That's it. Okay. 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 Uh oh 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 wait, 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 what's going on? Oh crap. Now we're getting attacked by horses too. Nice. 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 Just devastating devastating they never really got in and 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 once they get in then we try to we're trying to out out go oh, we're just hammering these guys now we can come back up on up uh, i'm assuming up on here let's see what they do oh they're still moving as a large group all right all right oh these guys are just going to go after these guys try to separate them okay i get it this is about over they're gonna break soon they're going there, I, I don't see much hope for these guys. Any moment now, I expect them to just hide tail. Oh, these guys. What's going on with you guys? Look, you guys are over here hurling away. And you guys aren't even paying attention. These guys don't even care about you. They're like, whatever. We don't even care. Whatever. Just whatever. Come and get us. And look at this. Oh, nice. Oh, I thought it was going to be a, a solid hit. And we're getting more guys broken, breaking. This is uh, this is the worst of the worst catastrophes for the Besos. They're they're really had better days. And let's just let's just get a, a a quick. You see the situation here for them. This is us. This is our artillery. They never got in. These guys. I'm not sure why are they still here. This was a bit an oversight. Missed these guys and just kind of parked here and. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I think we finally got some guys that uh, finally figured out, hey, what's going on with this? Let's let's finally get these guys. Let's let's get even with these guys. That's only right. Let's get in there, buddies. Come on, guys. You can do it. You want this? There you go. Get them. Get them. Don't don't relent. They, they wreaked havoc on our guys for no reason that we just let them do it because we're idiots. I was the general in this battle, and I blame one of my sub-generals, but uh, I will still magnanimously proclaim that it was my fault, but everybody will understand it was my sub-generals, so I'll get the best of all the worlds, perceived as being a magnanimous leader while actually controlling the masses in the way that I do, because I am the freaking king of Macedon. So that's how it rolls, folks. Oh, just getting shellacked. Love you love to see it. You love to see it. I am I tell you, I'm I'm for one am extremely happy to see it. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm locked in, that's right. So I think at this point it's over. Yeah, they've they've broken. I thought so. And now we're just we're just trying to get them because why not? I mean, really, why not? All the, all the violence to save the people. That's what we do it for. See if these guys can track them down. Do you're gonna get them in time? You might be running out of time. You might be running out of time. They look like they're gonna make it. 
They look like they're going to make it. They look like they look like that guy. Is that guy going to? No! Is that guy going to make it? Some of these guys are going to make it. Some of these guys made it. But not many. Not many. And then they just roll back in and just. That's. That's the end of this struggle. So we're going to end this one. And we're going to get to the second part. Because this is just the first part of the battle. That's right. We have. We have. Ah. Uh, crud. I hit the wrong thing. We have a. Tra we have a. We have a bit of a surprise for you. You got to love it. And. Uh. Well, the reason you're going to love it is because we have a second part to this battle. This is only the first part of the battle. The second part of the battle is coming up. This is the main part of the battle. So what you saw is nothing compared to what you're about ready to see. You are going to see facts and figures and impossible uh, illuminations that you would never heretofore have a guest were even possible. But we are diving in. Nonetheless, folks, this is the second part. This is now they have sallied forth to greet us out in the field. So we're going to be meeting them out in the field. And we have reserves that are going to be at play for this one. So the reserves that are going to be at play. We have our reserves coming from down here. And we have possibly their reserves coming down, down here. I'm looking at the, if you're looking at the lower right corner, the little tack the map here we have reserves coming in from the both us and them have reserves coming in from the north the southwest ours is closer to us however ours will probably get there after theirs does so we have kind of set up a little little surprise for them in the form of some artillery we got we got three of our artillery pieces, our units over here, and three of our artillery units over here. And you can see how many artillery that, that works out for. And the idea here is that we're, we're basically, we're mostly going to be in a hold pattern over here, holding them off, and in a hold pattern over here, holding whatever comes off here, until we get our reserves back. And then we're, we're basically, we want to try to outflank their them their sides as much as possible, break them up in the center, break them up into pockets where we could surround them. And uh, yeah, we might also be doing a little bit of strategy where because we have God mode, we may be diving into the middle of the fray to get all of them to swarm one of our units. And we're going to see what happens there. It's going to be a lot of fun. So that's what we have planned for this, the, the second part of the Battle of Navizos. And it is raining, so there will be no flames in this battle because of the rain. So here we go. There I am again. That's me right there. That's my standard bearer. That's me. I speak again psych psychotically or something like that. So there you go. And there you see they have a huge advantage over you. You can already see, by the way, their reserves are already coming in over here like we thought they would. And their reserves are coming in. Our reserves are coming in over here. So it's going to take them a bit to get them over. Basically, way over here is where I want to get these reserves. So these guys are in. Let's hit them with artillery mode as soon as they get close enough. And so are these guys. We're not going out. We're waiting to see. What will they do? Will they freak out? Oh, we're firing. I don't know what we're hitting. Oh, we're hitting. Oh, let's go check out. Just check it out. That is some long range. Oh, we've already killed troops of theirs with our long range miss. Oh, they're eventually going to have to. They're going to have to deal with this. They can't just stay here and park out. And that's generally the beauty of these uh, artilleries with their range. Now that they've been hit a few times, they realize, listen, we can't just wait on top of this hill. And we are making them come down to us and that's the idea in general and they're they're coming up on down on here and they got and now we're we're we're, we're trying to get some breakouts going on here it looks like we got uh these guys let's let's ride with these guys let's see what these guys are doing all right guys take me for a ride 
Take me for a ride. So he's he's trying to get out as far to the flank side, it looks like, I think, as possible. Again, we want to make sure that we got them flankings covered and Yeah, we're 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 if you've been watching the series lately, I've uh, I've learned a lot since I first started this and I think this series you're gonna see a lot of this stuff coming together and you know what I'm what I'm trying to master basically is I wanna create cool visuals cool visuals that was pretty cool where are we going where are we going boys got action going on over there oh there's a there's a clash yeah look at that clash and these guys are coming up so they're battling down there and now and now we're going to take to fighting these guys, I'm assuming. Come on, let's go. There you go, let's go. What are we waiting for? Let's, let's, let's go get them. Oh, yeah. That was clever editing. Not a glitch. That was clever editing. Look at us. Just, we're just going to mull over you guys and just do that. Okay. Yep. What do we got going on over here? Do something. Don't just stand there. Yeah, yeah, get that guy. There you go. That was a good kill, a righteous kill. Why aren't you charging in? Got to charge in. I'm, I'm not pleased with some of this. You guys should be wiping these guys out a lot faster. Really, really, that's not going to help you. Yeah, you got some other dudes, uh, ground troops mixing here. It's not going to be good for you. I got, I got, I got pelt test guys, man. These guys freaking mess you up. Just reach out and touch your face and then you're dead. I want to see more of that though. Hey, you knocked this guy off his horse. That's not cool. Oh, that guy got spun around and deaded. That was nice. That was nice. Did you see? Oh, and there's a boulder rolls through him. That, that was beautiful, my friends. Kill, kill, kill. So. Let's uh let's get a late gauge of uh, what we're doing here. So our our units have now come in, and as you can see, we do have we do have we're trying to get the outer edges here. We don't quite have the outer edges here, but I think we're doing. We're pushing these guys off up here, and yeah, uh, you know, we're trying to encapsulate. I'm sure we're going to bring more of these units up. Let's see what these units are going to do. Let's uh. Let's go to the, see who's on the move here. Who we got on the move that can help us out? Give, give me some uh, motivation to live. I'm going to go and check the battle in here. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so here we have a situation where I know we have these guys up here. And we're just waiting, I think. We're waiting here and just doing a little melee back and forth we got these guys melee or um uh, missiling back and forth missiling back and forth is what we're doing here there you go you see the sprays you see the the dramatic sprays and then the deaths followed by the sprays and they're just they're just facing annihilation and they don't seem willing to want to face the reality that they are getting annihilated and here they come here comes the troops pursuing them but kind of at a leisure come on men all right guys they're in tight formation they are in tight formation let's go with a ride with them all right let's go men forward indeed for the purple power of Macedon! The purple power of Macedon! Dark aim! Fire your mess weapons! Fire your missiles! Oh, look at that. Take, take, look, look at that. That's a missile. There's some missiles that are going through here. And these guys are like, you know, ain't even worried. Look at that. Missile right through his shield. Total boss still running. Still stick. Look at all that. Look at all the missiles that have stuck through their shields. And then look, wait. 
When they raise them up, will they be gone? Or are they still there? Ah, oh, and that's it. You know, that's kind of fitting. But uh, there you go. That is uh, that is the end of that. So you have seen the witness. You'll see that we have left about 200 or so people alive. So we, we managed to, to annihilate most of the individuals. And that really is essentially all that matters now. Before we get into a lot of the uh, tangles that we're going to be uncovering here, I'm going to explain a lot to you, but you have to bear with me. Because the first place we're going to go is we're going to... We want to deliver to you the visual of, of the victory that you so readily... Well, you so richly deserve. And so we're going to set that up for you because, because of love because of peace, love, hope, and, and harmony, we want to make sure that you get the, the visualization of the successful exploitation of another human being's death. In this case, a digital human being. In this case, thousands of digital human beings. So it was a pretty, as far as the digitals goes, it was a pretty... I mean, pretty epic, honestly. Yeah, I mean, if I'm being honest, let's uh, let's do this. Let's give you the visual that you so richly deserve. And there you go. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. That's right. I got to show you something. Hold on. Hold on. Before I do this, I'm messing with your mind. Messing with your mind. All right. So listen. I wanna. I actually want to introduce something before I get to that preciousness. And I want to introduce you to where we are right before, because this is the first city. This is actually the first city that we are going to take. This is how we started. We started off with Macedon, and as you can see, it's just this little white area right here. That's Macedon. And when we go to the world, which we're about ready to do here, I'll show you. How many units we have, how many cities we have. In Macedonia, we only have Pella. We don't even have Larissa and Apollonia. We only have Pella. In Thracia, we only have Popodeva. That's it. That's what we're starting off with. So now we are about ready to... Well, let me just do this real quick. There we go. All right. So let's uh, go over to Novisos here and let's now let's do this righteous kill. Folks, we're going to do the righteous kill for the good of the whole. Alrighty then. And then we conquer with the audit results. So you get you get the visuals you so richly deserve. Now, what we're about ready to go into is we have a plan. I'm going to get to the plan before we get to the conquesting, and I'll let you know what it is that we're doing. This is our first city that we have ever taken. Navesos is our first city. So I want to go over to our map here. And in the map, you'll see, well, you'll see where we're at right there. The Again, where are the tinies? Where are the tiny little white space? I'm going to turn this down a little. So we're the tiny little white space. And our plan here is we want in this northern Macedon, northern kingdom expansion, what we want to ultimately end up with is Illyria, Pannonia, Dacia, and Thracia, and all of Macedonia. That's our goal. That's all we really want to do in this first, our first ever campaign. We have existed for, well... I, I took power about 80 some years ago and I, I'm about 104 I'm 114 years old now and during this time that you haven't seen I have been bringing our tech up to full speed and uh, we have the best tech in the world but we've also been given money to all these folks we Carthage has money tons of money Libya got tons of money from us new Carthage very successful so they've gotten tons of money in the beginning, we, we gave money to everyone. I went around and made connections with everyone, and we gave money to everyone that we could. It was a long process. And then the people that started winning, those are the ones that we started t 
to give money to. The German Confederation. Look at the size of the German Confederation. We have given tons of money to them. Over here, we have Bactria to be, deal with. And in terms of shapes, I love this one the best. Look at this. This is uh, the Empire of Sumeria. Uh, that is so cool. They have gotten tons of money from us. So that is the situation that we find ourselves in. And we are about ready to... We're trying to take Epidemos, Dominium, Eater, and Segestica. That's what's on our list. And I believe... If you look down at Epidemos, we're going to have to have some help. And I am bringing down two of my reserve units. And this is Cleonimus. He's a... One of the members of our family, of the Antigonus uh, family. Uh, and where is our other reserve unit here? Our other reserve unit is Sophocles. Sophocles. Let's get Sophocles up here. There we go. Let's get you up here. And then we're going to get me, Antigonus. Come on, Antigonus. Let me do my job. Yes, yes, yes. Long allies will have an effect on how the other factions view Shut up. Oh, I feel bad. This is the RDI. I like your outfit. I'm digging it. I love the heavy eyeliner. Total coldness. I love it. The 80s retro. But I got to do what I got to do. I got to declare war. And Nasus, Syrian, Syracuse, and Carthage. I hope you join us. And you do. They joined us. What about join your lady warriors? You're a lady warrior leading them. Come on, man. Do better. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize for living. Life is a bowl of Jerry's. All righty. Life is a bowl of Jerry's. That is for sure. And we're going to get the close victory here, but not without a struggle. That was difficult. And that is what happens when you fund everyone as, as much as we fund everyone. Oh, we're, in, we're in the wrong uh, section here. There we go. We don't want it. There you go. There you go. There you go. I take care of my people. All right. Now that's a close victory. So we're going to claim that. That's great. That's great. Super. Sophocles gets a raking. Good. Good. All right. Let's go after you some more. Come on, buddy. Come on. Where are you? There you go. Go get him. Go get him, Papa. Come on, Papa Lopez. Come on. You can do this. You can do it. Oh, by the way, nobody lives. Nobody lives. Everybody dies. This scenario, we we ain't got time for that. We ain't even worried about it because we plan on a, a hardcore program of exterminations in the name of decency. So remember, because of decency, it makes it all right. Yes, decisive victory. Oh man, I feel bad. I mean, they look kind of cool, man. They could have been cool people. I mean, they could have built magnificent society that would have been like cured all the diseases before they were ever even identified. And I, I literally love diseases, I guess, and something like that. All right, so uh, let's get on with the next task, which is we need to find ourselves. There it is. Let's get on up here. Delminium. Are we able to conquer Delminium with no assistance? Ah, war. Good. Sword bites. Shield crash and yard screams in the morning. Air. Yeah, okay. You know, those are screams of joy at the prospect of drinking your blood in front of your children. While your mom watches right before she dies of old age. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's trash talk, right? All right, let's take these guys. You guys agree with me, right? That's trash talk. What they're doing, that ain't. That's something else. We're, 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 we're taking care of this. We're taking care of this. We're taking care of this. Look at that. Armies four. Fleets two. Now it's six and three, so we get to build our armies. We get more spies we get to add. We'll add all that later. Don't worry. We, we're, we're on a fixed schedule here. Uh, I'm on a fixed budget. I'm on a fixed budget. No, fixed. Never mind. People are gross. Look at that. Close victory. That is masterful. I am rocketing through this, folks, and I need to because we're... Well, I knew this first episode is probably going to run along. In general, I want these episodes to be between 20 and 30 minutes. But 
I think the first episode's probably going to be on the longer side because got more stuff to set up. Declare war on Sagistica, yes. We're going to do this. Let's see if we can do this. Another woman that is going to... Our young warriors crave the chance to earn their rights as men. Your blood will wash away their youth. Hey, Frank. We should have women in the game. Oh, we. Oh, you want women in the game? Women leaders? Oh, women leaders! Frank. Take Sigastica. And we take. We take. We stab. We stab. We stab. We slash. We slash. We stab. We all oh, into the face, into the chin and body, and down you go. We are equal opportunity killers. Look at I'm already a rank five, dudes. Dudes. You guys are appreciating this, right? Because we have done the conquest part of this episode. We have already done the conquest part of this episode. So that means we are now ready to look at, well, let's let's look at Mi Familia. We're gonna go over Mi Familia now. And that's, uh, I'm gonna do this, uh, I'm just gonna introduce you to just a couple of folks because of the fact that, uh, well, we're, we're already, uh, we're running out of time here, so. I'm just going to introduce you today. I'm going to introduce you to to me and my story really briefly. I am the blood. I am I I am I am the beginning and the end of this story and I'm going to give myself some uh prom promos here while I talk about me and I I I, I am Frico Fricosian in the world that you probably habitate or a facsimile of the world you habitate. And one day I was just minding my business, fell into a, 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 time, a, a time worm. I don't know what a time worm is, but I fell into it. And when I did, I ended up in the body of Antigonus. Now, I'm a little fuzzy on like what parts of my memory are mine and what parts are his memory that are now mine. But there was an Antigonus before me. I entered in. I believe I entered in when he took power but i'm not sure i think so I, I am kind of going with 199 bce because of well i did a little thing that is the starting point when i could say from this point on i absolutely know it's me and it's not him and these are my memories so that's why 199 bce is important important to me and uh, helps me keep my uh, sanity i use those numbers when i especially because i'm i'm relaying this to you is because i know in your world you understand those numbers. We don't date the years the way that you do, but uh, you, I'm not going to use those years. You wouldn't even begin to understand them. So we're just going to stick with uh, the, the, the BCE and leave it at that. And uh, not going to skip over this young lady here. We're going to have to describe her real briefly. And I think that's all we're going to get to in this uh, episode. We're just going to talk about me and my wife, uh, Aglaya. And Aglaya... Uh, she's a theater addict. She's an Epicurean, and her marriage to to me is basically it's uh it's basically political. So she's the second wife that I had, and I, I've lost my my first wife, Thylia, and uh, I believe that most of those memories really are mine, but I'm just not sure uh, due to old age. And she was 63 when she died, and it's a not so secret secret that the uh, well, that the court alleges that we have not an open marriage, but a marriage where neither one of us is intimate with each other. But we're not unintimate, if you know what I'm saying. I neither confirm nor deny that, and I'll just leave it at that. You know what? I'm just going to tell you. I should just tell you this part. I got to tell you about my daughter, Raina, who died, and I miss her. I love her. She was 73 when she died. So that's one of the... Well... One of the things that we're noticing is that the men, many of the men, not all, but many of the men in our family, they live, they, they get to the age of 30 and then they stop aging. The women don't. And some of the men do end up dying, like my son Demetrius II, who was named after his, his grandfather, my father Demetrius, whom apparently I loved. That's the memory that I have. So I think I that this guy loved him, so I kind of love him. So Demetrius II and my son, my son and he died and uh and his wife also helena died good woman and 
You see two of their children died. Silex is now my heir. And Berenice, Berenice, just real, I think I'll leave, leave it on this one, and then I'll tell you more later. Berenice is the woman who, well, she's considered to be the matriarch of Macedon, and she has a bit of a, a cult temple worship following in the city of Pella that kind of believes that she's kind of a demigoddess of, uh, of matronage. So, so there's that. And she is awesome, by the way. She is a very, very, very awesome lady. I love her. She's uh, a little long in the teeth, 42. And there's Silex. Silex, he's been 31 for a while. So we think that he has. But Demetrius, it looked like he was 31 for a while. And then one day he died. And then that was it. It was, I, it's, he died in battle. Now, when he died, I declared Demetrios my heir over here but demetrios uh once silex came of age i declared silex my heir so demetrius a little upset but his grandson alcides watch for him because he is a rising star and the next army we have new armies that we can assign he's probably going to be one of them and i think with that we're going to bring this episode to an end I thank you all for watching this episode of uh, Freako Plays in God Mode, The Purple Power of Ma Macedon. This has been Season 1, The Greek Empire, Episode 1, The First Taste of Blood. In the next episode, I don't have a title for it yet. I don't think I have a title for it yet. But the next episode is going to be... It's going to oh, it's gonna start with a battle, folks. It's going to start with the battle of a kink that's what you have to look forward to thank you for joining us you yeah, have a blessed day and we'll see you tomorrow at the same time it's monday through friday so i think you think i think this will start on a monday at 7 a.m eastern standard time on frico place